this is my everyday face, my everyday look. This is what I do pretty much on a daily basis. Um, as you can see, there's not much going on, but there is a little difference. This side is done, this side is not so. I wanted to show you. I never really do like a one side already done and one side not done, but I wanted to show you guys the difference. So, yeah, if you want to find out, stay tuned. The first thing to do is obviously just wash your face with a mild, kind of gentle cleanser. You don't need anything very rough with a lot of uh, scrubby things in it because, um, well, the night before, you should have cleaned all the makeup, like all the dirt off your face. You're just sleeping through the night and rejuvenating your skin, so there shouldn't be too much stuff on it. Now, after I get out, uh, the first thing, Fix Plus. Because uh, I don't, I have to do my makeup like right away. Otherwise, it'll I'll have like dry spots in random places. And for the dry spots, I use UB cream. And now that fall is definitely here and winter's coming, it's slowly starting to, I don't know, dry and get like really flaky around my nose. It's not attractive, so. The cream wherever you need it. Mine's just basically around my nose and maybe right there. It's kind of a new product that I'm using from Mario Badescu. It looks old because the name scratches off very easily but it's new. <laughs> it's the drying cream and wherever I have pimples and I just put that on there. I feel one come in there. One here. Ooh, that one's hurting. Don't put too much on because it will leave like a kind of grayish white film. Before the Fix Plus completely dries away, I'm using Jane Agua Suticles in light warm tones. It's a sheer tinted moisturizer with SPF 30. This is what I used like all summer. And if you follow me on Twitter, you know I was looking for like a cheap tinted moisturizer. And this is it. Surprisingly, it actually controls oil pretty well. As compared to the other ones I've tried, I just get slickity slick in like 10 minutes. So, put this in like a moisturizer. It's kind of weird to put it on just half of your face. Ooh, because I keep wanting to put it all over. Rub it in really well. I tried to use a brush with this, but you know what? It works so much better without. It's just a moisturizer. The little tint, you don't need to go all fancy for the brush. Then I take Le Concealer from Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in medium. The light was way too light. The dark was too dark. And the medium is still not dark enough, but... I got this, like, a couple years ago, so... Eh. Um, I just put this under my eyes. I'm patting it in. Concentrating a little more right here because that's where it gets darker. I never used concealer in high school. I didn't know what it was. And I didn't even use it freshman year in college because I didn't know what it was. <laughs> and um, as I got addicted to YouTube... I found out that it's essential and it makes a huge difference. And if you didn't notice, on top of my eyes, like my eyelid is also like a little bit darker than the rest of my face. I have a lot of discoloration. So I'm using Max Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. This is also brand new for me. And I'm going to put this up all the way to the brow bone. It just kind of evens out the entire skin tone. And voila, my eye is so much brighter and like awake and healthy looking. <laughs> I'm going to do my brows. I have to do my brows. If I don't do my brows, that's like, ugh. I'm using Rimmel London's Hazel. 
I needed to change my brow routine a little bit because my hair is obviously lighter now. So I didn't want to have like extremely dark eyebrows. I'm going to use Milani Brow Fix Kit. I'm going to use both of the shades. I'm going to use some eyeliner. I use a black gel liner from Clinique. I do have black track, but I feel like Clinique is smoother. So, yeah. I'm using a... I think this might be an eyeshadow brush. It's from Essence of Beauty. Yeah, the top is rounded. Like, for some reason, I cannot use a short, like, angular one on my eyes. I can use it on other people, but not on mine. And this just works for me. I'll make it pretty thin. I'm not trying to be like all dramatic. Then at the ends, I'm just going to flick it out. Like a tiny bit. Or not even. Sometimes I go thicker. Actually, this looks thicker and better than this side, but I guess I'll have to fix that. <laughs> and then the leftover, I just put a little on the bottom. In the outer corner, that's it for the eye. No, that's not it for the eye. I lied. I have to curl my lashes. <laughs> um, this is from e.l.f. It was only a dollar. And I hold it for like 5 to 10 seconds. Let go, and voila. I don't use mascara. I don't like to use mascara every day. Bottom part of my eye, I'm going to put a little bit of eyeliner. This is from Lord & Berry. It's their smudge proof, waterproof. Everything smudges on me, but this does stay a lot longer. It's called In the Black. And I'm just going to concentrate on the outer corner. And bring it in like slightly, or not even. If you put it on too thick, just use a Q-tip and smudge it out a little so that way it won't be that harsh and like thick and weird looking. And then, if you have problems with shiny areas, I'm going to use a mattifying makeup base number 7. Yeah, I use it on top because it works just fine on top as it does under. And this is not meant to be put on all over your face. so. Um, yeah, just put it on the spots that you need it. My pores are like really, really big here, and they get oily so fast, so I'm going to put it here. I don't really need it on the nose, but above my eyebrow, I hate it when it gets really glossy there. And I do have a pimple there, so I'll put it on that too. Put a little more on where the pimple is here. Tap it. It goes away. Now, concealer for the pimples. <clears throat> Just pat it. I'm using MAC Studio Finish Concealer. This is in NC35. This actually does not match my skin tone, but it's the one I got, and I don't have the funds to change it right now, so... I've had this for like two years. <clears throat> My voice is going away. <clears throat> but I do find the Studio Finish Concealer works best for me only for acne <laughs> or scars. And then to top everything off, seal it. I'm using Lumiere Cosmetics Sand Number no. 2. It's their translucent powder. So I'm just putting some on a brush. This brush is from... I'll list it on the side. <laughs> I forgot. I'm just buffing it in. There's no color payoff. It's translucent. But I really like the finish. And I don't worry about eyeshadow. I don't wear any eyeshadow every day. No mascara. 
I don't even wear lip gloss every day. I had some lip balm on. Um, I just keep reapplying lip balm or uh, Vaseline. I don't worry about bronzer or cheek stuff. None of that. Like, this took me forever to do today because I had to share the steps with you guys. But normally it takes about uh, 7 to 10 minutes because I'm a little slow. But, eh. Yeah. So that's it for my everyday routine. I hope you guys liked it. And look how thin my hair is. This, these braids are tiny. They're so skinny. But, um, yeah, everything will be listed on the side. Uh, oh, earrings are from Madame Pie. These are the interchangeable ones where you can make it longer and shorter. A ring is also from Madame Pie. I lost my other ring that I had. It was like my favorite ring. It had a yin yang sign on it. I got it from the Greek festival years ago. But, yeah. Shirts, just a plain purple shirt from Forever 21. Okay. Bye, everybody.